Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Bruces and in today's video I will be doing the best way to travel in Stranded Deep. I did do a previous video on the fastest way to travel, but this video will be the best way to travel. So that includes the way the well i can include the fastest way but i would say uh, mid to late game so it's early mid and late game different years and when you'll be able to get the vehicles but first of all i just want to give a um thanks to all my subscribers that have been helping me out on my channel and for all the support i want to thank you guys for you know being there for me and supporting me on my channel and I also want to give a shout out to three people, as far as I'm aware, that got my question right on the uh, question that I asked. They got the question right. They commented the right uh, amount. And if you're a small YouTuber, just like me, and you want a shout out on my channel, make sure to subscribe. And just stay tuned, because you'll get a question in the future, and you might as well get a shout out if you get the question right. So first of all, I'm going to read the names out. If I pronounce the name wrong, I'm very sorry. But as you guys might know, my home language is actually Afrikaans. Okay, but let's get started. So first person is Gabriel. Um, the question was, how many gyrocopter parts do you need to build the gyrocopter? So that's not engine parts or, you know, the fuel parts or filter parts. It is the gyrocopter parts. It looks like this. So that's a gyrocopter part. Um, and I can show you guys that you only need three. That is the answer. So let me just go into my craft menu. Go to my gyrocopter. As you can see there, the frame uses one, the seat uses one, and the rotor uses one. So that's three in total. Um, but it's a shout out to Gabriel. Then we have Adam. He's also subscribed to my channel. And then it's Penguins. Um, Penguins has been a really good supporter of my channel. And I'm thankful for that. Um, and those are the three guys getting a shout out in this video. Because they got the question right. So if you want a shout out, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the following question. Or for the next question that I'll be posting. So that you might get a, a shout out as well. If you get the question right. But with that being said, let's get straight into the video. If you guys watched my previous video, you will know there's four ways to travel in Stranded Deep. It's by the raft, over there, the starter raft, so that's paddling, then you have your sailboat, your motorboat, and also your gyrocopter. That's flying. Um, but okay, so first of all, let's get started with the, let's say, the beginning of the game. So this is the uh, early game state, so as soon as you start the game, you were able to use this raft. Um, it's very good for traveling if you have not built a raft like one of those out there yet. Um, but this one you, you get started with, everybody will have one of this. The down part of this it's very slow and you have to paddle all your way to the other islands. So what I prefer is using this one to get to let's say two separate islands just to get resources to build the uh, other one, to build a raft. But this is the slowest way and by far the worst way to travel. Unless you are early game, this will be the best way to travel. As it would be the only way to travel. But let's say you get to, you know, early, mid game, almost long game, you know, late game, round about there. You might be able to build a motorboat. But first of all, you'll be able to get the sail. So the sailboat looks like this. You just drop the sail and you're ready to go you need a raft with at least three wide is what I would prefer because if you have two wide the, w the sail will just tip it over so you need at least three wide and one long and you need a rudder as well so it's a rudder and sail these two items uses the exact same craft material and yeah that is the way to build the sailboat to build any other boat you will also need the exact same amount of resources to build any other boat or transport well excluding the gyrocopter okay but this will be your let's say early to mid game maybe mid game way to travel is with a sailboat 
as you will need to explore more islands and shipwrecks to get the motor parts and you can also build this um, sailboat at a low level or craftsman skill where the motorboat is at a bit later skill okay and this is also faster than the paddling and it is good because it doesn't use any fuel and that's very good for the sailboat but okay so um, let's get into the third way to travel I would say well I would call it the best way in my opinion and that would be with the motorboat as you get this in mid game some people might get an early game but mid game is where you most likely to unlock the motorboat because you have the skills of the craftsmanship and you might have the parts as well it's easy to build I prefer building a one by one just like this as it is very fast it's the fastest way to travel in stranded deep and yeah if you go to your uh, let's say motorized vehicles there is the motorboat and the gyrocopter over there this motorboat uses the least amount of fuel I will get into that in a second but this is easy to craft and it's easy to make fuel that's the down part about the motorized vehicles you need to make fuel to make fuel you need potatoes but to get potatoes you might have to go to different islands to you know just get one potato to grow them into multiple potatoes and that can be a pain in the butt and anyway so um, that is the third way to travel but in my opinion the best way and I will get into the details further into the video I'm going to exclude the sailboat and the paddle boat or the raft uh, for the uh, next part of the video but let's get into the gyrocopter you might think this is the fastest way to travel but the motorboat is faster this one is good because you do not have the sharks that might tip you over and you know bite you and kill you but this uses fuel and it's hard to build because you need gyrocopter parts and a bunch of engine parts um, and you also need fuel that is the downside uh, where the sailboat and the raft doesn't need fuel but the motorboat and the gyrocopter does need fuel to make fuel you need a fuel stall and to make a fuel stall there's a couple of things you need including a well, I think it's jerry can is what they call it I don't even know where my jerry cans is at but anyway so it's a fuel can or a jerry can that you need to craft this and you need another jerry can to transfer fuel from here to the uh, vehicle and that is the downside it's hard to get jerry cans in this game some people get it right off the back some people have to wait till let's say the fifth or sixth island they explore is where they actually get the jerry can and anyway so this one uses fuel as well it has a compass on the compass is a bit out um, as you can see it says south is around about there but it's not actually over there it's a bit to the left as you guys can see I'm not pointing in the same direction as the gyrocopter so it's a bit broken but it's okay um, but it's a good way to build this was previously uh, a end game uh, vehicle we had to defeat the bosses but it's not anymore and that includes the PC version as well um, but let's get into the fuel efficiency well the raft and the sailboat will be excluded because it doesn't use fuel at all but the gyrocopter and the motorboat will be included okay so as you guys might know let's take a look at the gyrocopter as you guys can see the fuel is half uh, actually if you look at the white circle there the dark circle is the amount of fuel it has if I go over to my motorboat it would be full or it should be full as far as I can remember yeah it's full okay so this you can fill up in a couple of different ways but it usually fills up in four stages um, it's either quarter half, three quarters or full so what that means is if you take this circle and you split into four just like that one it's split into two and you split into another two then you get quarter etc you guys know what I mean and one potato gives you quarter tank of fuel if you guys come up here you see you need four potatoes or mash is what they call it to make one jerry can one jerry can fills both of the motorboat and the gyrocopter up to full 
okay for the gyrocopter um, the fuel efficiency is from one island to another island and back so that is to the closest island and then back to your home island that is a half a tank so as you guys can see that's half a tank that's how much fuel how much fuel it uses from this island to that island over there and back again uh, so with a full tank of gyrocopter you can go to one of the closest islands twice okay where on the other hand the motorboat is in my opinion a lot better because it uses half the amount of fuel so as you guys can see mine is still full here but if i go to this one this one might have a, i think it's half or something it's less than half uh, okay so this one is a, a quarter so this is a quarter tank of fuel this is one potato or mash uh, the motorboat will from the one island to the closest island and back use a quarter tank so the amount of fuel you see there will get me from this island to that island over there and back to the same island where the gyrocopter will use that amount of fuel to that island and only there I won't be able to make it back at all um, so as you can see the fuel efficiency for the motorboat is a lot better than the gyrocopter I think the reason for that is the gyrocopter is you know it's late game and you do need you, you know you do need uh, a potato farm and a lot more than just you know one or two potatoes for fuel but in my opinion the worst way to travel is the raft but that's the first way to travel the best way to travel is the motorboat but that might be late game uh, to some people some people might get an early game but not always that's just luck I guess I can call it and in my best opinion to use is the sailboat as it uses the least amount of fuel well it doesn't use fuel at all and it's relatively quick compared to the motorized vehicles but what I prefer doing is placing a sail with a motorboat or the motor on one raft uh, it will make steering a bit you know harder but if you run out of fuel you can just you know use the sail to get back home as this is my raft I used to go to boss fights but if I want to go explore islands I would just use that one the motorboat there or I'll just use the gyrocopter well that's it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy the video make sure to leave a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel subscribe um, and you might just stand a chance to get a shout out in the future when you get the question right you will get a shout out and when you are new to the channel it's what something i told to all my or something i tell all my subscribers if if you leave a positive comment i'm going to like and heart the comment if you leave a positive question or any question uh, relating stranded deep or so or games i will like and heart comment and i will try to reply to the comment um, and if you leave a negative comment i'm going to have to delete the comment as it's not good to keep, uh, post negative things on other people's channels as that do have an impact on their channel but thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see each and every one of you in my next video.